Alright guys, we're back at Matt's, continuing the body work on the Z. But before we get into that, earlier today I reached out to Eric at Guilty Garage. Thanks Eric. Um, he does a uh, wiring swap service to make an HR swap plug and play in the DE body and it'll retain things like the air conditioner, the cruise, all the factory gauge and functionality. So I went ahead and shipped my harness out to him today. That's going to alleviate a lot of the uh, stuff on the tail end of this project. Um, he says he's going to have it back to us in five days. So uh, that should be just in time to start putting things back together. Um, but for now, let's get back working on the car. Speaking of which, me and Matthew stayed up pretty late last night, knocking out a large portion of the bodywork here. But let me show you guys what we got done. There's a good bit more damage on it than we initially uh, thought, or I initially thought. And that usually happens with body with the bodywork and paint jobs. But we knocked out pretty much the whole top here. Looked like some kids were like crawling on the back hatch at some point and uh, had some wrinkles there and maybe somebody stood on the roof. So there's a couple spots up there we had to fix. But everything's coming out pretty slick. Um, we got a few little spots to work here uh, on the quarter panels. This was like this whenever I got the car. And that one's not too bad, but this other one's gonna take a little work because it's kind of creased like that there. Um, but yeah, so. Matthew's over here working on this spot on the door and yeah so we're gonna continue sanding on this thing and hammering on it and wiping mud on it. Yeah we're gonna hopefully have it in prime by the end of the night. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking probably gives a good four hours we'll probably be uh, getting ready to prime it. So. Yeah. I think as quick as we were knocking everything out last night that's pretty realistic to be in primer. Yeah, and then maybe maybe color and what's today? Maybe two days, two mornings. We'll see. Yeah, probably another two mornings. This is this is night. This is night two so far. So if you're keeping up, um, but yeah. So let's get back to it. Ooh, got my bash bar. Drifty things. Drifty things. Drifty things. Drifty things. So I'm bagging and I'm wrapping. Yeah, it's like Christmas. This is like for a bash bar. Like I've seen the uh, what is it, drift armor and stuff. They're like production style, you know. Which I'm not knocking them, you know, they have their place. But this guy really spends. This guy's a Heliar Custler on Facebook. He really spends the time to make this thing like nice fit and pretty. He even caps the ends here, so. Just nuts for me to see that somebody's spending this much time for something that's just gonna get destroyed. But I really appreciate the good quality work. Someone puts a lot of quality in something that's just gonna get destroyed. How do you feel about that, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of smash. You know what? It doesn't even matter. We'll repaint it. Would you look at that? Well,
next day. Yeah. Shows up, like, puts an eight piece of tape on there. Yeah. Like, I, I helped, I did 90% of the tape. I, the I basically tape. built the whole car for him right before he left. Right? hours later. You enjoying yourself there, Jeff? You got Johnny over here working. All right, guys, that's all we're gonna let you see for today. Next time you see this thing, it'll have clear coat on it, be out in the sunlight on the trailer in all its glory. Till next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>